All right, we're going to have a serious chat. So look, if you moved in with your parents during So look, if you So if you moved in with your parents during the lockdown, we got to have a chat. Are you really an adult anymore? If you're over the age of 25 and you move back in with your parents as soon as there was a pandemic, there's a lot of problems. We can't allow you to go back into the regular world now and have an apartment again. You don't get to have sex with people on the regular. You don't get to just date again after this is over. You don't get to live with your parents. You don't get to live off of your parents during the quarantine. Like, you don't get to live off of your parents during the lockdown and just eating mom's Pop-Tarts and her sausage and peppers and dad's sausage and peppers and mom's meatballs and then just go back to regular life after this? No, if you moved in with your folks during the lockdown, you live there now. That's the deal. That's the rules. How selfish of you to go home with these people with shitty immune systems who are just there to wait on you? Hand and foot? That's not the expression. To, to just, they're just, you just go home to these people that have horrible immune systems and have them wait on you? And you live in your old room and you pull out your old pornography from underneath the bed, you're back in your original bunk bed, just you, nobody else, you're yelling, I got top bunk! No, you can't. Listen, if you're a millennial, if you want to call yourself that, or you want, if, if you're mad about being called a millennial and all the weird stereotypes that comes with it, then you could not, then you can't have moved in with your parents during the quarantine. If you quarantined with your parents, your time as an adult is over. You have to now uh, go backwards. Gave you my time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nobody knows it. The only way to be a true adult is to have your parents move in with you during the lockdown, not vice versa. We are a generation, multiples of generations now of children who have never grown up. If you move back in with your parents, then that's where you belong. Did you ever leave? If you move back in with your parents during the lockdown, if you move back in with your parents during the lockdown, did you ever actually move out? Like, did you ever actually give up that safety blanket, right? Like, you went and lived in the city, and you, like, got your own apartment, and you were cool, and you were getting blowjobs, and people were giving you oral if you're a girl, and people were, and people were sucking on your genitals, you know? But did you really accomplish being an adult like you got a job that you don't like and now all of a sudden as soon as things get weird you're back in with your parents you don't get to leave now that should be the rules you have to stay there forever basically you have to take over the responsibilities of that situation if you moved back in with your parents during the lockdown then if you if your mom did your laundry during the lockdown, you don't get to be an adult anymore, okay? I'm taking your driver's license, okay? You don't get condoms anymore. You don't get to have a boyfriend. You don't get to have a girlfriend. If your mother folded your underwear during the lockdown, you should be ashamed of yourself. If your mother folded your underwear during the lockdown, you should be ashamed of yourself. There's, n there's no excuse for becoming a burden. Look at these old people. They're not even going to make it. Like, if you came home with coronavirus, you would kill them. They would be gone. Look at your dad. He can barely hear now. What would have happened if he got coronavirus? 
Look at your dad. He's not, he's not, look at your dad. He's not careful. He just ate one of his own boogers, okay? You can't bring New York City, you can't bring Big Strand, you can't bring 20 to 29 year old coronavirus into your parents' house and expect to be considered a responsible adult from here on out. Are you still on your parents' taxes? Is that why you didn't get your stimulus check? Is that where we're at? Are your parents still getting $500 for you during this crisis? Is that what's going on? You should be taking care of them. That's what should have happened. You should have created a bubble environment in your apartment and had your parents come and stay there, not vice versa. If you clogged the toilet at your parents' house during a pandemic, you shouldn't be allowed to live, okay? We should just give you corona. We should put you in a room and give you corona. Well, that's obviously not going to fly. If you clogged your parents' toilet during a pandemic, you should never be ever allowed to rent an apartment on your own again. That should be stamped on there like a credit report. Clogged parents' toilet over the age of 25. Look, if you're between 30 and 39 and you moved in with your folks during a pandemic, just kill yourself. It's over. Your life has no value. It has no meaning. What are you doing? You're just waiting around to get the house? Go do something with your life. Go be a person, okay? And if you're between the age of 30 and 39 and you moved in with your parents during a pandemic, I can't even look at you. You disgust me. You're just eating bananas at your parents' house like it's cool. Get a job, get a career. Go live in a ditch just like they said you were gonna. If you're between the age of 30 and 39 and you moved in with your parents during a pandemic, you deserve to be living in a ditch because you're not a human being. You're not responsible. You're not an adult, okay? You may as well start wearing diapers again because at this point, we can't trust you with any parts of your body. You may as well start wearing diapers again because we can't trust you at all. If you can't be trusted to pay rent during a pandemic, I can't trust you not to shit on the couch, okay? Did you pee a little bit on yourself when you slept last night? Yeah, you did, you 39-year-old pig. How dare you move back in with your parents? How dare you move back in? If you moved back into your parents' house and you were over the age of 35 years old and they still had a bedroom for you, they knew that you were a fuck-up, okay? My parents got rid of my bed when I was like 22 years old. They let another dude move in there. When I was 22 years old, they let another dude move into my bedroom because they were done with me. If you still have a bedroom in your parents' house over the age of 30, then they know you're never going to make it. And now we know you're never going to make it. You should just all live in the same one room, like in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You just share a bed with your parents and they can just cover your feet and you cover their feet. And then one day you guys will all stand up. I haven't done this in 20 years. You're a disgrace. Get your life together. Get out of your parents' house, man.